Cageway featherweight matchup between Bruce Lee and Ricardo the Bully Lamas. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up with him. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh! Oh, and a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Trying to recover full guard there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Lamas is able to transition back to side control now. Round two next. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Here we are, early round two. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Lamas gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Great kicks there. Nice punch by Lamas. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attacks, young man. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! Lamas gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Final seconds here of round two. All right, round three coming up next. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Oh, 
All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lamas gets hit by that leg kick. Just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice loop and punch. Well, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his targets, not head hunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing. Oh, head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Whoa! Whoa! So look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. And he's back up. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. How about that shin? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there... Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Visibly limping here. Blocks the shot. Oh, work in the inside of that one. Hurt. That's one of those shots that if you take one of them, it can, in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Take down a template, and it's good. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish.
All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Watch the strike. Just out of the range with that right hand. Lamas gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offering. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Lamas. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, big elbow. Those are big strikes. Man! Oh, knee strike right to the body. Now a knee. It's real close. It's a real close fight. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision.